Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 23rd video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood a very, very important concept guys, which was ServiceNow access control list, which is the ACL we call. And it is one of the most important thing inside of ServiceNow under the security settings and we have seen a lot of different ways how we can configure ACL, how we can apply ACL and how you can restrict access or the you know for the to the people and or group of people in a service now. So you can limit the access to a particular area of service now or particular application of service now. So we have discussed a lot about ACL in my last video. So if you missed that video guys I would recommend you watch that video again I'm telling that video was very important video. Okay, so don't worry. I'm gonna put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen All right, so let's see what we are going to learn in today's video All right, so today we are going to learn about import sets or we will learn about how to import data inside of service now So just remember today we will go and clear the concept about import sets and what are the other ways we can You know import data inside of service now and how import sets work What are the different components all of these things we are going to learn today? So make sure you watch the complete video and in the next video We will see how you can you know practically inside of service now in the demo So the demo will be in the next video. Otherwise this video will become too big So in the next video demo uh, demo video, I'll show you how import set is working practically so to understand how we are going to proceed in the next video for the import set then please clear this concept on this video okay so let's move on all right so first let's understand that why we need to import data what is that what is data import means so uh, you remember like we have created custom tables right and i've shown you how you can create your own table and stuff and also inside of service now there are different kind of tables and each and everything in service now is table and records i told you right every time so now with the help of the import data what does it mean is it's like it's pretty simple so you can import data from outside inside of your service now table so it can be any other data source like excel it could be you are importing data from excel file it could be a csv file it could be uh, you know uh, ldap file or from azure active directory from uh, microsoft active directory you are importing data so data source could be different but the main thing is that you are importing from outside from different data source and you are putting it inside of your service now table now let me give you a practical scenario so that you would understand in a better way so suppose we have a table and we will see in this uh, in the demo uh, so make sure you watch the full video i'm going to show each and everything in the demo also about the import set okay so now uh, suppose you want to uh, you have a table where you are uh, you just created with some fields right uh, and now you have to import data from outside so your client is saying that uh, we have this excel file containing 500 or 100 thousand records and you have to import that inside of the table now definitely you are not going to manually do that because it would take a lot of time and you don't need that when service now is giving you a great functionality of import sets right and now we will see what is import sets in a minute but now now, I think the concept is pretty clear for all of you like uh, so we need this uh, data import or import data uh, to you know to fulfill various requirements from clients and for uh, you know fast updating the data existing data also so suppose you have records in table already you imported again you can use this uh, a different excel file to update those data so we will see it how it works in a live environment uh, in the demo so first before that we need to understand few concepts of import data now in service now basically there are three ways by which you can import data right so the first way is the import xml so it's a pretty simple one and also if i show you and if you go to the any or any list view so you can just uh, go to the column context menu and you can get this option called import xml right you can see here so in this way in this import in this way you can only import the xml file nothing nothing uh, nothing else okay only xml file you can import i'll show you in the demo uh, where is this option and how it looks like and there is another way which is uh, the option called imports in the same menu you can see there is an option called import this is the one I highlighted it here in this picture so in this option by clicking this option you can only insert excel files you can download a template 
where uh, you know for suppose you are uh, going to insert something on the incident table so you can click on the download template i'll show you in the demo again and it will mention all the fields uh, fields name and they, then you can put the data and then you can upload it right this is another way you can upload data so first one is the xml file only second one is the only excel file but most of the time you will deal with not only excel files or xml but you will deal with like i told you like jdbc or the uh, adfs the active directory and also the uh, azure so from different sources you may want to insert your data from as per the client requirements so for using all of these things you need to use the concept called import sets right so what is import sets import sets is pretty simple it enables to import data from various data sources like i said it could be different different uh, and then map the data into service now existing table right so simply for an example like you want to add some data from azure active directory to your service now users table or maybe a custom table that you have created okay so for that so with the help of import sets that you can perform those things right okay so so this is a kind of a picture i got it from the service now product documentation and you can see this is the import set uh, we can source this is a data source we can connect from jdbc http excel csv xml and uh, also ldap is there and you can import it here and then you can transform to different different table in inside of service now you can see target table so data source from where you are taking the data then target table where you are putting the data inside of your service now okay and we'll see that now for this example i'm gonna show you uh, not any jdbc HTTP because for configuring those things uh, we require a lot of time and this is beyond than the service now csa or the certified administration uh, course uh, uh, syllabus so but definitely don't worry once we finish this uh, whole series of service now csa then uh, definitely we will create definitely i will create different videos to show you this functionality and more about service now we will learn okay so don't worry on that now to perform the import sets i mean this activity uh we you know in service now we have this system import sets we have we have the application so to perform these things you need the role either admin that's the system administrator that we have already or the import admin role so these two role uh, both one of this role you have to be to perform this import things and like i said in service now we have the application called system import sets and under this we have different modules we'll see each of them and how it works so this is the concept of import sets guys and now let's see how it works so important components of import sets first is the data source then load data we have then we have import set table transform map and transform now before i'll show you each of these things practically with an example how it is working like i do in all my videos let's quickly understand this concept you know in a just a line and just just uh just understand how it works and what does it mean by the name and then it would be easier for you to understand when i'll do it in the demo right data source so data source is nothing nothing like you know nothing but a stores it stores different records uh, it's a table inside inside of service now where it stores information regarding different type of data source like ldap azure ad adfs so how you can configure those what are the things you required these are the example uh, you know a set of uh, data which is available inside of this table i'll show you okay that would definitely help you in our future when we'll configure azure active directory things or the adfs okay so for the time being just understand data source is the area where you get the information about different data sources okay so this is the uh, data source table you know data sources you can see there are a lot of different example it is their azure ad adfs and there are other like ldap jdbc okay all guides are there here and you can see example is written everywhere so that you can understand these are the example records or example tables so before you proceed with this you can watch those uh, information uh, that would definitely help you okay so that's about data source now load data now from here we are going to use the transform uh, the sorry the import sets okay so load data is the area where you place different data sources so suppose we are going to import from the excel file from the uh, csv file from different data source also like ldap jdbc so this is the place where we have to upload the data simply upload that data load data means upload the data okay and this is the place uh, we will go in the demo also we'll see this thing but this is a screenshot of this place you can see you can uh, 
source of the import you can select file or data source and you can choose file from your uh, local machine okay now we have the import set table now it is very very important guys now load data is done so you have an excel file suppose you want to upload a update a table you upload the excel file which has different different column name right um, maybe name maybe uh, you know different user id and maybe other things right now when you upload that data service now what service now do is that service now store this data in a table that's a staging table okay not a permanent table so suppose you want to move some data from uh, you want to upload an excel and you want to move some data in the user table inside of service now so when you upload the data in excel directly it it does not go to the user table and there are so many reasons for it right maybe your data may contain different fields which are not there in the user table and there are other things can happen right so for that first service now stores your data in a staging table called import set table and we'll see it in demo okay so this is a staging area records where import data uh, from our import data source wherever you insert it and fields are generated automatically so in this table import set table again it's a staging table inside of service now so the field automatically generated from the imported data so from your maybe in your excel file from your jdbc the field what are the fields you mentioned there uh, all the fields will be automatically uh, generated in the import set table okay that's the table where our data is storing so we have uploaded the an excel file suppose and all the fields uh, the record and uh, excel sheet from the excel sheet all the fields are stored generated automatically in this import set table okay done next we have the most important concept inside of import set is the transform map now you say pritham okay our data is uploaded our data is there in the staging table or the import set table right now what's next so next you have to map those fields, right i mean like whether it's the uh, from your excel file suppose you have a field called user id and in the user table you have a field called user id so it has to be mapped so that the information or the records from your excel can be successfully transformed to the users table in the proper field right so transform map this is used to create a relationship so it creates the relationship between import set table and the target table fields target table means the table where you are inserting the data and you can see again this is a picture from service now documents so you can see here transform map this is the table fields this is the import set table fields where you upload the data suppose it has username first name surname things like that and in the target table where you are uh, inserting the data they have field called first name last name user id now you can see username is a field in the table in the import set table which is mapped to the user id field maybe the name is different in the excel but you have to mention where this username all the data all the records under the username field it should move to in which field of the target table so the field is user id and don't worry on that i will show you in the example on the demo so we will explore all these things okay so this is about transform map so you have uploaded the data it is there in the staging table now you are transforming the map so it's a, you are creating a relationship between all the fields now two way you can create the relationship so types of mapping you can see first is the automatic mapping now you should use that when your excel i mean wherever you are inserting not excel so all the fields of your target table and the staging table where it matches then automatically mapping can be done so for an example user id is mentioned on the excel where you are importing and also in the target table user id so then you don't need to manually map it so you can map it with the help of the automatic mapping okay but if it is not then the most convenient way is the mapping assist by which you can map different fields of your import set table and the target table and once it is done once the mapping is done you will go to the transform and once you select on transform the data will move from your import set table to the target table so that's how things work first you load data it stores in the import sets uh, staging table then it uh, you transform uh, using the transform map either mapping assist or the automatic mapping you are matching the fields from both the table and then finally clicking on transform you are transforming the value or the records from your uh, source table to your target table okay so all right guys this is it for today thanks for watching the video in the next video we will see how this is working inside of service now right and practically i'll show you how import set is working so don't forget to watch the next video if you like this video hit the like button if you have any doubt come to the comment section and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people bye bye see you in my next video